Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some new apps that will be available in Windows 11 23H2. These app versions are currently being tested on the Canary and Dev channels of the Windows Insider program, but they will be available on the main release in Windows 11 23H2 respectively. And these are some big updates to certain apps and some useful updates in my opinion. And we're going to talk about each one of them in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting, the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, if you are enrolled in the Canary or Dev channels or even if you are using Windows 11 23H2 in the main release, after the release, you can open up the search and type in here Microsoft Store. Open up the Microsoft Store and then go to Library and then click on Get Updates. This way, Microsoft Store and all the apps that you have installed on your system, Windows apps and Store apps will be automatically updated and you will have all the latest versions. If you get this check mark, well, you're good to go. You have all the latest versions. Now, let's talk about some new apps in Windows 11 23H2. First of all, we have an update for the Notepad app. What is this update? Basically, this update allows you to close notepad without having to save the file. Right now, when you type something into a notepad, you won't be required to save the file on your desktop or somewhere else. The file will be automatically saved and you'll have all the contents in the next launch of notepad. And this will also remember all the tabs that you have currently opened. So as you can see, I have here two tabs. If I close notepad and open it again, you'll notice that everything is still here. And I think this is a great update in the notepad app. If you go to the settings section and then select when notepad starts, you're gonna notice that you have two options open content from the previous session or open a new window. And here and there, you're going to notice also a notification that will appear, which will say that your files or contents from the notepad app will be automatically saved. Next up, we're going to talk about a new version of Paint, which will allow you to remove photo background using AI. So I have here a picture. I'm going to right click on it and then click on open with and paint. I'm going to go down here and click on fit to window. And then we have here this new tool, remove background. Click on it and you're going to notice that the background will be removed. Of course, this is a first version version of this AI integration inside Paint and it could be more useful. For example, I would want to have layers in the future in the Paint app or to be able to save images with a transparent background because you cannot do that right now. We also have an updated snipping tool app for Windows 11 23H2, which now will allow text actions with the app or to detect text in photos. So for example, I'm going to open up the settings app. So we have some text and then we're going to go and click on new and we're going to make a quick snip here from the settings app. And you're going to notice that now we we have this new option which says text actions. Click on it and you're going to have the following options. Copy all text or quick redact. And with quick redact, you're going to be able to automatically hide emails and phone numbers, which I think is really, really nice. And if you click on this drop down, you're going to have the option to select email addresses or phone numbers if you want to do a quick redact to the text in the photo, or you can copy all text. And if I'm going to open up the notepad app and open a new tab, you're going to notice that we have all the text from here, which is, in my opinion, pretty accurately detected. And of course, this again using AI. We also have an update for the phone link app, which will basically introduce the ability to effortlessly access and edit your most recent photos from your Android mobile device and snipping tool on your PC. And you're going to get a notification inside the taskbar. You're going to see on the screen how that notification will look. And lastly, I think the app that has the most new features is the Photos app inside Windows 11. And this has a lot of new features, which I'm going to showcase right now. First of all, if I right click on a picture and then click on edit, you're going to notice that we will have this new option, background blur and you can click on it and you're going to have here the option to blur your background and you have blur intensity and we can intensify this if we want, which I think is pretty nice. I'm going to leave it on 50% and you also have select brush tool. 
can turn this on and you are going to have an option to select the area brush size brush softness as you can see Microsoft is introducing a lot of useful things inside the photos app and the photos app can easily be used to do simple edits or even more advanced edits which will be done pretty fast because the photos app is using AI also you can now do content search for OneDrive photos based on the content for this you're gonna have to make sure that you're signed in, in your Microsoft account navigate to the OneDrive personal section and the search bar at the top enter what you're looking for for example car beach birthday vacation and so on and you can also do a location search and this feature will be available to all photos in your collection including those stored file system OneDrive and iCloud and Microsoft is also introducing Samsung and Google motion photo support you can now view the video portion of motion photos captured on Samsung and Google devices we also have some other fixes and improvements for the photos app Microsoft updated their upscaling logic so that images no longer appear pixelated when zooming in by a large factor so as you can see I zoomed in here a picture and it looks very very nice it's 500% zoomed in and it barely looks pixelated in my opinion Microsoft is doing a great job with this function I think touch support for slideshow is now available swipe left and right to easily navigate to the next photo in your slideshow edit and create video options are now easy accessible at the top of the gallery view as you can see up here and also the previous issue where an app restart was required for iCloud photos to start showing is fixed once you have enabled photo syncing in your iCloud for Windows app you will see photos stored on iCloud start showing up so basically these are some of the new app updates in Windows 11 23h2 I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave your opinion in the comments below about these new apps and also make sure to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel if you want to see more videos like these I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day